Welcome back on this Wednesday morning. It is going to be a very nice one today. It's going to be dry and comfortable with some sunshine. Can't beat that. Our next opportunity, though, for some rain, if you're wondering about that for your gardens, well, that's happening tomorrow and on Saturday. Then the heat and the humidity ramps up for the weekend. Right now, seeing some mostly clear skies in Marquette. Lower Harbor looking good, 50 degrees there with a northerly wind, about three miles per hour. A great day to maybe go for a walk, go take a look at some waterfalls, look for a mix of sun and clouds for the afternoon. Temperatures not bad at all, quite comfortable in the 70s. And that 76 is where we're supposed to be at. So all in all, looking good. Upper 60s to 70 degrees near Lake Superior, lower 70s along Lake Michigan with mid 70s in inland locations tonight lows drop down to the 50s so not quite as cool as this morning and then tomorrow because we start off with cloud cover and some rain temperatures will take a little while to rebound so for the most part those temperatures and depending on how long the cloud cover sticks around for will trend around 70 into the lower 70s the setup right now has high pressure to our north and that's why the cloud cover cleared out but the stalled front in the northern plains will move in eventually as we head into this weekend and that's what's going to bring in a few rounds of some rain showers for us. So right now seeing some mostly clear skies, but here's your hour by hour for today. Some light winds out of the south southeast about five to about 10 miles per hour. Then tonight is when the rain starts to move in through tomorrow morning. This is 630 in the morning. Now it really looks like it'll pretty much be centered for the western and the central counties throughout the morning and early afternoon. This is about six o'clock, five o'clock in the afternoon. The east end kind of staying on the drier side. Then this model kind of picking up on a small band of rain that rolls in for early Friday morning. It's shortly Lived because a bulk of the day will pretty much be dry with a mix of sun and clouds. Then another opportunity for rain, this time pretty much widespread on Saturday. So this is how it looks for Saturday. Saturday morning, uh, we're going to kick it off or rather Friday evening. That's where the area of low pressure will be at. But by Saturday morning, widespread rain kind of rolling in and it quickly juts out of the area. So by about midday, the bulk of the rain looks like it should be out of the area. However, it's still going to be quite muggy and hot. While that front kind of clears out, it really won't prevent temperatures from topping off into the upper mid to upper 80s. So going to be a hot one for Saturday with dew point temperatures in the 60s. So going to certainly be a muggy one for the weekend. Rainfall amounts through Saturday night will easily push half of an inch for the central and eastern counties. But the west end could see locally higher amounts of to about an inch to about an inch and a half. And some of these storms will be very slow to move through because the system will be slow to move through. And that could lead to some localized ponding of water in low-lying areas. So just keep an eye out for that. Then as we head into early next week, the heat ramps up to near 90 degrees on Monday.